Welcome back to Sonic Adventure. Oh, Alex damn. hates it. I don't hate it. It just Alex sucks. Alex hates it, you guys. I don't hate it. It, does it not just suck. sucks. I'm Gerard. Hey. That's hater Alex. I'm not a hater. Hater. Fossiani. I'm not a hater. Guys, if you agree with Alex, uh, PayPal him at Fossiani A at Gmail. Yeah, find me. Find him there. Find me on PayPal. He's great. Follow me. He's follow him. Send me a couple. Follow, follow his Venmo feed. Yeah, send me. <laughs> it's really funny. It's Fire. really funny. A lot of emojis on there. Yeah. <laughs> Such as uh, turkey leg, birthday cake. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I sent uh, I sent Gerard three bones <laughs> last night for the KBBQ. All right, so we are playing. <coughs> we're continuing down. We knocked out Sonic in Hope four episodes. Hope you don't like Sonic that much because we're never going to see him again. It's true. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. That's not true. Um, we're probably going to blast with Tails. Tails arguably may have the longest campaign or just as long as Sonic's. Mm, everybody Knuckles else is, pretty, is quick. Knuckles is pretty big. Amy, Big, and E-102 is their jokes. We'll, All right, we'll so knock let's out quick, so. do Tails first. We're just, doing Tails. Just go around the circle. Fuck it. Yeah. Good guys, gonna, bad guys. We're gonna get real, real shitty with this one. Hell yeah. Henya, Henya. <laughs> Alex, can you tell us some trivia about Tails? Tails. Just in general. Has two tails. Look at this awful plane. Everything's working great. He's just rotating. All, All right. systems go full speed ahead. He's not talking. <laughs> His mouth's Is it a chaos emerald? No. Uh oh. What's this? <laughs> Remember the beginning of the first level when he crashes? When he's crashing. So we're seeing it from a different angle now. Yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, let's get some fucking Tails trivia going before my phone fucking dies. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Oh my god. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's passed out from the G's. He's dead. This didn't... There's no way this this fox is okay. He's he's dead. He's gone. We've lost him. <laughs> Fun thing about Sonic games, uh, if you notice, Sonic at this point has the upgrades. Had we not had the upgrades with Sonic, he might be wearing them in the scene. Really? Yeah. That's so weird. It's kind of kind of neat, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Much better game than this. Still not great. You're lucky I Shut your mouth. <laughs> so, did you know that Tails' is two tails are have to do with the uh, Kitsune? It's like a Japanese sort of like folklore version of a fox that mm. grows multiple tails. Same thing that Nine Tails is based off of. Interesting. It grows nine tails at max. And uh, the more tails it has, the like older and wiser it is. Okay. So I wonder if there's ever going to be a day when Tails grows nine tails. Or at least one more. He's supposed to be like a genius, right? Whoa. It's a chaos emerald. <laughs> oh my god. His Where'd fucking face animations. What? What? Is that the, what? the word? I will. What? Ar, I will not argue against this. The worst thing about Sonic Adventure One and Two both animation. Their animations for, for not like not their bodies, not their movement, like, like their actual mouths, conversations. They just they do not like that walk animation is pretty good. It's all right. It's just like for what it is for the time. It's great. It's tight that he can fly. Oh my god! All right. So check this out. Miles Prower is his real name. Miles, Ma, it's like Miles Prower, but it's Miles per hour. His name is Miles Prower, but it's R a pun. Right, Miles yeah, per hour. Yeah, Prower. Speed. Uh, in Sonic Two, Tails was orange, but it was like yellow orange after this game. This game actually changed his fur color to like a lighter color. Isn't that crazy? This is yeah. like this is like what I think of when I think of Tails. This version of him, you mean? Yeah, but in like, even like, even like Sonic 3, he's like bright orange. Why do they have to make him seem so much younger than Sonic, though? Because he is, I think. I think he's supposed to be like really young. I'm not sure. I mean, I know that's the case, but like. Let me I wish see, I just. They list his age. He's eight years old. <laughs> yeah, he's eight years old, but my question is is that. In dog ears? 
Like, what's the lifespan of Tails? Is he halfway through his life? Is he like a 50-year-old man? I have no idea. It Eggman. It Eggman! I am Dr. Robotnik, the most cunning scientific genius in the world! Hey, you gotta give him props for changing up the dialogue and cutscenes. It's true. They just were like, you know, let's just cover his whole fucking face in a mustache so he can't talk. And you're gonna really hate when we do this Eggman video, huh? What? You're really gonna hate when we do this Eggman video, huh? Why? We're gonna make you look like Eggman. I, look. I, I have full faith in our ability to do a better job of portraying... <laughs> That's not the argument. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I have to see what the costume looks like. True. That's, that's the thing. If it's some, like, bullshit that I have to, like, sit in a makeup chair for three hours, it's gonna be awful. Yo, you're gonna hate it. Yeah. But if I just gotta put on, like, a sick track jacket and some goggles... I, I have a red suit for you that I bought downstairs. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. It's crazy. Wait. Did it just, like... Yep. All right. What? Why are there even cutscenes if it's just like them standing and looking at something that's not moving? Egg Hornet. All right, you got this. He got even lighter in Sonic Heroes. Tails did. Get Rex. He's not gonna get away with this. Um, what else? Tails trivia. Do, 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 do. Tails and Eggman are the only characters who are addressed by their nicknames. Do you think he, like, owns the nickname Eggman? Now he does. Before he didn't. He, like, took it back? Yeah. That's so like, funny. Like, in, in Song of Your 2, he's like, I'm Eggman. <laughs> What's up? I'm Eggman. He, like, was sleeping one night and he, like... Or not, not sleeping, but he was, like, sitting in his bed one night, like... You know what? I kind of like it. Because I love eggs. I think the thing is that Sonic Adventure is the first time they ever call him Eggman. Yeah. For some reason, I feel like they call him it in the cartoon. But maybe I'm wrong. Right, but like, I don't think Sega of Japan was like, ha 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 ha. That is a good one. <laughs> Got him. Got We're him. We're going to use that. Let's call him Eggman from now on. Ta Tails gets really dizzy. Yeah, because he spins a lot. But like, apparently he has like a really big problem with it. Is that why he can't fly very high? I don't know. Apparently, like, in this game, he has, like, the rapid tail spin, and he does that the spin dash. Why would you pull, pull it out? Gotcha. Literally not moving forward. Hey, he oh, my God. Not even holding it. How Fun did he fact, get it? He's not even holding it. He's bouncing it. His mouth is not moving. <laughs> he's just, like, Your touching homework. it. Your bro's homework, pump your right hand yeah, forward. Forward, and if you like want to get creative, you can use Instagram and put like an emoji there. Yeah, imagine that it's imagine that the Chaos Emerald is in front of you and you're, and you're pushing just kind of pushing it. Oh my god. All right. da -da 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 -da. Tails has phasmophobia, a fear of ghosts. What? Yep. He was I mean, voted number six worst character video game name. Because of the pun in his name, in uh, issue 188 of Game Informer. Uh, he was also voted the 10th most disgustingly cute character by Game Informer in 2010. What does that mean, disgustingly cute? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know why I said idea. Guys, we, had a, we filmed Drunk Bros last night, so we're struggling. We're hung over as hell. But we're holding it down. Yeah. It's going to be on Game Wisp, right? Game was first, and then coming to God. Uh, I hope it's watchable. I I think the first ep three episodes were the fourth is not. <laughs> I told Chris like to mute the other people's mics. Yeah, because you and I were trying to play and talk to each other, but we couldn't because everyone was having too much fun. Scream just screaming. Yeah. Tails can read binary like it's English. I just want to point out we haven't done one level yet. Yeah, and we've been recording for probably ten minutes. About ten minutes yeah. on the dot. Yeah. It's okay. Hanya! Why did they think, like, we need to have cutscenes? You have to remember, like... F f I think, I think, okay, to my opinion, I, I don't think comparing this game to something like Sonic, or, like, Mario 64 is a valid point. I don't think... What would you compare it to? Uh, I don't think there's anything quite like this. I think it's, it's I think it's its own unique game. There's not really... 
a game that's that familiar to Sonic Adventure. Like, my thing is, why is there an open world? <laughs> because you don't do anything in it. You just, like, walk around. Yeah, well, I mean, but, you know... Like if you could just if you could just play these and there was like fifty levels like this that would be the that would be the game and that's what they learned from the other Sonic Adventure games like Sonic Adventure Two is exactly that there's no hub world there's no hub world but it does have like really long bad cutscenes but you can skip all that though that's true they're they're better than they're better than they're much better than these ones woohoo oh 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 man this just reminds me of my fucking Dreamcast man. The Dreamcast was a fucking great system, you guys. It still is, dude. Uh, oh, I fucked up. It's a, it's it's pretty dated. It's hard to come back and play it. There's not that many games on Dreamcast that I still like really have fun playing. Well, I mean, the ones that I do have been ported, so I don't really like. I have no reason to boot up my Dreamcast. What about Power Stone? See you later, Tails. Is that ported? No. Uh, it's a P they made a PSP port. Oh, but great. I would love Power Stone Collection on Switch. That'd be perfect. Did I just hear Mario 64? What? I heard like a dude like, yeah! That's Tails. It's so quiet. I love that they use the same noise for the rings. Is this a race? Yeah. In, ta in ta Tails' mind, he like wants to be as cool as Sonic, and so right. in his missions, Instead of like beating an adventure stage, you you play like the fast race missions of each level, where you have to try and find the chaos emerald before he does. Right. Which honestly is not a bad idea. I think it, it takes all the fluff out of this game. Yeah. <gasps> like this part, in my opinion, is the stuff that you'd love because it's like just the the fun fast the pace stages. I never have a problem with the stages though in Sonic Adventure. I just think like this game, like the pacing, you pay, you probably spend half the time playing this game doing bullshit or watching bullshit. And that's, yeah, that, that for me is well, why, I, I, you know, I don't feel it's, you know what it is? I don't think it's as bad with Sonic and Tails as it is with like Amy and E10 Gamma and just shit that we literally big, do not care about at all. Right, right. They, they put a lot of extra because those guys like Amy literally has three stages. E10 Gamma has five stages. Right. Big the Cat has, I think, four. Right. But like you look at. Knuckles and Sonic and Tails and theirs is somewhere between 8 to 12. Right. And those stages are like well thought out. They're fleshed out. They have purpose. They're different for each person that's playing. So you're not stuck in that zone of like trying to figure out. If it's, it's a, it's if a it's very strange game. It's very strange. You can go to the casino Because also though, like a lot of the levels are like not quite new levels. They're, they're, it's like variants, right? Like yeah. you play like Sonic... Sonic has the overall big level that exists, you know what I mean? Whereas uh, Tails and Knuckles usually have portions, but the portions they play are are unique enough for those people. Like, for instance, we're going to play the underground part, yeah, which we, like never, stuff we, never played, we never played the underground section of, of the casino because I never on, died. Tails. Yeah. So it's like a little race section. I think they do a better job of differentiating the, the characters in the second game. Oh, absolutely, because there's different gameplay. Like, it's like, okay, like, Rouge and Knuckles are going to be, like, the treasure hunters. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. And then there's, like, Sonic and Shadow and yada, yada, yada. I actually like Shadow. He's, like, he, I, he's my, he became my, my favorite, like, Sonic character. Over Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Because he except, has, like, Except the gun. Fuck the gun. Well, he just has a bad backstory. Uh, I think it's pretty, it's a tragic backstory. It I, is, except that he's just a fucking hedgehog. Like... It's just weird, like... It's a really weird story. Like, I feel like... Like, the fact that they, like, went all in on the plot of, like... Yep, they're just... Ten animals in a world completely... Lived in by, like, regular-looking humans. Right. It's, like, super weird. They should have went with, like, the way that it is in the cartoons, where it's, like, everybody's an animal. Because then it makes sense that you're saving animals out of machines. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. The aspect of saving animals in this game, I mean, I, albeit it's smart for the chow portion, and I like that aspect of the game. I'm like one of the only few. You're right. Um, Did you know that nine different people have played Tails? That's crazy. Also, 
What do you think about Tails' butt? Like, what do you think's going on there? Do you think he has, like, a rotating muscle in his ass? Like, is his flight physics? Like, is he just, like, using his body to fly? I have no idea. Is he magic? I mean, I don't know. I, I generally have no idea. He's eight years old. He's, like, an inventor. He can fly already. But see, uh, uh, we come back to the question of, like, is it does it make sense to try and rationalize Tails as a, as a genius boy? Uh, uh, I'm just trying to think, what like, to his Campbell? fucking tail rotates got one to them. make a propeller. Mm -hmm. he must be getting desperate. But I'm just now trying to think, like, is he really flying by the power way. of that tail? Let's get a move on. I have no idea. So Tails' campaign is a little boring at first just because we are literally following the steps of what we saw happened in, in the uh But then it diverges. In Sonics, but it does diverge. Once once Tails separates from Sonic, which happens a few times. I think the, the interesting thing about this game is that I think is kind of cool is you you can't play as the characters until you unlock them right. Yeah, but you don't have to play as Sonic to unlock all the characters. You can like stop playing as Sonic, switch to Tails, play Tails' campaign. If Tails runs into those other characters, they get unlocked as well. I see. So that way, you if you want to stop playing as someone else, you can. You know, you you know, when you unlock Knuckles, which we're about to do, you could stop and start playing as Knuckles, and then Knuckles runs into, uh, I think he runs into Big the Cat. I could Great. be wrong. Big the cat. It's definitely interesting. It's just I, this game is so weird, and I just don't think it's that good. I here's the thing. I think I, in my opinion, you can't like. Again, I don't think you can compare this game to so to Mario sixty four. I think they're so it's different. Similar. Like the only thing they share in common is the fact that it's more like there's Banjo. A hub world. It's more like Banjo Kazooie. I disagree. Where there's like elements. It's just that the only difference is that instead of going and doing like open world levels, yeah, you go do like stages. Sure, do you know what I mean? But for me, like in Mario and Banjo Kazooie, right? The open world, there's like stuff to do. There's like puzzles that are like actually puzzles. On, but this is just like walking around till you find the thing. This is tight. For some reason, I love Sonic and Tails on snowboards. I think it's because of Ice Cap Zone. Man, this looks so bad now, but I remember when I was looking at this game when I was a kid and I was just like, oh my god. The Sonic Adventure 2 port is 10 times better than this port. Well, I'm just saying like there was... The, they, it's, it's like 1080p across the board, widescreen, 60 FPS. Like this is like 4x3 60 FPS, but like, you know, 4x3 ratio. The, it, the Sonic Adventure 2 port is 16x9? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. How do you beat Sonic? You're you so literally just press forward the whole time. It's about like getting the jumps off. Like I fucked up there. It's about like not hitting the trees. Yeah, I mean you can't really gain speed or. Never understood the point of the bo bombers going off here. It's just tight. Yeah, every time the jump. So the jumps give you boosts. Whose bombers were those? Robotniks? No idea. Oh! Oh my god. So if you if you don't win, you have to do it again? Yeah, it counts as a loss. In most cases, right? Like, you'd be playing... Here we go! Oh shit! That's the win. Boom. Watch out for that tree! Could you miss it? No. Okay. No. <laughs> Hit the You're wall. You're just kind of stuck. Sonic grabs it. Nice! Nice! Nice, nice, nice! Nice, nice. God damn you guys, we are just... <laughs> shells of ourselves. But we're making progress, dude. Like, we're already, what? Third of the way done with Tails' campaign? 
Something like that? Maybe a little less? Uh, maybe, yeah. It's tight. Look at his fucking tail. Look at his tail. <laughs> Two separate muscles, it looks like. Oh my god, what's going on with the fucking camera? Why does it work like this? Sorry, I was, uh, texting my buddy. Actually, it was so funny, I'm actually, uh, texting my buddy, uh, who runs the, uh, Sonic Twitter. Hell yeah. One of the best Twitters. TBH. Si Single-handedly, I firmly believe that s at Sonic the Hedgehog, or s at Sonic underscore Hedgehog, he or the it. Hedgehog, has saved Sonic. He saved it. I think they, that team is so... They genuinely care about Sonic. <coughs> they love him so much. All they I to love do. Sonic. I, I, I'm, I'm always a big fan of Sonic. All they had to do, I've been waiting for years for them to just acknowledge how shitty Sonic is. And they've been doing it. Yeah. That's but they do all they in, had to do. But they do it in a way where they also honor him too. So it's not like it's an the awful same, thing. It's the same thing we all feel, right? Like, I was a kid. I had uh, Genesis. I didn't have a Super Nintendo when I was a kid. I played Sonic. I love Sonic. He's so outdated because it's like, he's like the equivalent of like Poochie from The Simpsons. You know what I mean? The like cool attitude character that they brought in. It's so, it's so dated. Oh no. But like, you know, they oh, no. just they just keep. <laughs> oh my god! I love how comically easy Knuckles is oh, in this no. game. Oh no! Oh no! Whoa! What oh, the? No, f the emeralds. If you remember, Chris, play it back. The the, the, the face of Sonic when he looks back is like, <laughs> oh no! The chaos emeralds. Large mouth, wide eyes. Both eyebrows moving at separate times. You two are the chaos emeralds. <laughs> Ah! In different resolutions. Now he's hold. Now he's just touching both emeralds. Three rows homework. <laughs> Do it now with two hands. Show yourself. Hey, those are pumping your hands. The chaos emeralds. How do you not know that those are the chaos emeralds? Because well, that's the thing is that literally Robotnik's whole plot with Knuckles in this game is that he tricks him into saying because Angel he always, Island he always tricks Knuckles. Well, no, I mean. Always tricks, right? Like, t in my opinion, why, why do I keep saying in my opinion? I hate that sentence. It's true. In in this instance, I really feel that Sonic Adventure is not like a retelling of Sonic Three and Knuckles. It's like a similar. But it's a similar instance where Knuckles is kind of. It's like Sonic Three, but with an actual story. Kind of. Like, cause you get you get to learn a little bit more about how Knuckles is actually. Like they only really imply that Knuckles has stuff to do with. The, the the ancient world of magic or whatever. Like to call who we're about to learn more about in this game. Yeah, exactly. she is an echidna, and so it's assumed that like they're all knuckle. Like knuckles' job as the echidna is to protect yeah the master emerald. And it's stuff they kind of like drop later, right? Like, is he is he what's his deal in Sonic Boom? Um, he's just I, like on the team. He's just on the team. Yeah. yeah, they 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 drop the whole master emerald chaos emerald thing. Well, it uh, just got boring. It's not that it got boring, it's that I think they, you know, they just didn't know where to go. It's the same thing how every once in a while, like, ba Mario doesn't fight Bowser. It's the same shit. Fawful, by the way, is one of the best video game villains Dude, out of the Mario franchise. are you so ready for fucking 3DS Mario Superstar Saga? Can you believe that they just- I know, I know! We fucking made that episode, and then, like, two weeks later, yeah. it's like, oh, by the way, the new one's- uh, the port's coming out. I spent all this time, like, like, reading about that game, and, like, and like thinking about that game and like just because I went down this like nostalgia trip because we were playing it in the office and stuff and like it's so crazy because like I was like man I really want to play that game bought it on Wii U and stuff and I was like but I don't really want to play my Wii U I have my switch yada 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 and then like it fucking they're like oh yeah you can get it on 3ds now bitch well I'm happy that it did because the video like gained a bunch of traction yeah because no one had searched Mario Luigi Superstar Saga in a while and so our video got a bunch of views from from E3 because of it. It so probably is the biggest Mario Superstar Saga video. Probably not. I'm sure there's more bigger ones, but I'll say at least in 2017. That's what I mean. Like, the, the, like in, in in a long time. Come on, show up. Woo! This is a really uh, trippy looking boss fight. It's crazy though yeah! how much stuff they drop in Sonic, like. In the Master System version, have you ever played a Master System, by the way? 
Um, the like Sega version of the NES, like the like eight bit Sega console. It's, I don't really know. I don't. I think, don't think I ever had. I don't think Sonic Three ever came out for Master System, but I know that Sonic Two did. I hadn't. No. And I don't, I don't think I ever did. It's eight bit, and like Tails like dies in that game. Jeez. Well, because you can get a bad ending. Oh, I see. But like, yeah. Norm's video, which by the way, you all should go watch the gaming historian. Yo, He's, I got my Blu-ray. Was that your Blu-ray that showed up? Yeah, I got my Blu-ray. Yeah. Hey, I, I feel like I bought one, but yeah, maybe send it not, to your house. I'm not getting one, maybe, or maybe it's at the PO box. I don't he know. He sent them out in waves. Okay. Shout out to Jetpack Bragan who he drew the art. He did the art. Yeah, and it looks nice. I'm I, so proud of Sean, man. He's killing it. The beer bro, like. That's the thing about Beer Bros has been fascinating is like having Sean and all the artists for the zine and just like, you know, the community and how it's grown these past couple of months has been so, so wonderful and it's cool. I'm super grateful. It's cool. Sonic DJing. <laughs> Sonic, he's a Smash variant with a shitty bracelet. You guys go. Why is one of his bracelets blue? Because that's the upgrade we found. Oh, right, 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 right. It's not. It's not one of his bracelets. It's literally the. It's on his his arm because of the upgrade. Yeah. All right. So we're probably gonna just do at this point, if you remember so accurately, we are literally about halfway through. Yeah. The game with tails. We might even just go over to Knuckles. After we're this. Who knows? crushing this. Sonic, wait Dude, I can't wait for Sonic Mania. Are we gonna do that on here? Let's do it. Oh, I know what we should do next. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it after this. I love how he has all these palm trees on hinges. <laughs> they all just like take. We're like, oh yeah, we're trees, but we're gonna take a break for a minute so this plane can uh, take off. So what's the deal with tails flying? Can he like fly forever? No, he gets tired. He gets tired real quick. He gets so he, he uses. Gets Oh, he gets like he gets winded. Oh my God! Get out! Da, da, get da, out! Da. Get out! Play one single horn from the John Cena theme. Just <laughs> burp, burp. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. This is straight up Panzer Dragoon, like exactly. Someone gave me that game. <laughs> Which one? The one for the uh, PS2, Japanese. Oh yeah? Yeah. I love the Panzer Dragoon games. Sega Saturn was a good system, uh, but it just got like bopped by Sony, same way the Dreamcast did. The thing about the Dreamcast that is actually, everyone thinks it like bombed. It was super successful. It, it was, was just for like one year. No, it did great. It did very well for Sega. They just didn't want to do it anymore. They were out. They were like, you know what? Let's just not do the console thing anymore. Yeah, but it it only was successful for like a console supposed to last for, especially back then. You well, know, there were there were a lot of third party love games, like good support games on yes the Dreamcast. Yes, at first definitely. But what happened was, it was easier to develop for the PlayStation Two. It looked way better. Everybody's gonna buy one. It plays DVDs. So, you know, it wasn't it's, it's it wasn't true. that the Dreamcast sucks. It's it, you know. It's like the Wii U. It's like it was so good. It had great support. It had great games on it, and except it did. It sold a lot better than the Wii U did because at the time it was the best fucking thing on the market. They had a nine month gap where they were crushing it because yeah. no one had anything. They were to doing show for it. Insane. I I bought one. I, I fucking bought, I bought two because I loved it so much. I fucking loved my Dreamcast. I still have my Dreamcast. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like. It just got wrecked, and the same thing happened with the Saturn, and they were even dumber but, but, with the Sega Saturn because well, the well, Sega Saturn actually was announced the day it went on sale. Yeah. Which... It was in stores that E3. same day. Yeah. After, that's why there's that there's that infamous, like, uh, Sony press conference when they announced the PlayStation. Yeah. The guy comes out and just whispers the price and leaves. Yeah. Like, and everyone lost their shit. Yeah. But, like, like looking at back at that... That was a cool thing to do, but like, it also wasn't out right away. You couldn't go and get one. But that's why. But like, that's why it was tight. Is because that's you know how people always talk about the dream of E3. That yeah. like Nintendo's like Smash is on Switch and it's out today. Today, 
it would probably work for something like that. But like, that's why they don't take risks like that. It's because the problem. And the now, but nowadays, also, there's that, that'd be impossible. Well, there's no hype. There's no hype anymore. Like, like, if you if you put the game out the day, like, if it's something that's new and nobody's ever heard of it before, and you're taking a risk and you put it out the same day that you announce it, Yo, I'm crushing there's it. There's zero hype. You know, there's zero hype involved. But I did, I did love my Sega Saturn too. Best thing about Sega Saturn was the fighting games. Mm. Because it had uh, beautiful, like in the same way that like Sony did that really well with, with like JRPGs and stuff and 2D, like how they did like platformers amazingly, like Castlevania and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. The Sega Saturn had like really accurate arcade ports yeah, of fighting did. games. And so that's well, so, why... So did the Dreamcast. House of the Dead yeah. was incredible. House of the... Oh my God. We're friends! Look, he's, he's literally leaning backwards on his heels. Isn't this the flashback? Isn't this like the level? No, this is the hub world. This music is so beautiful. I love the like sound effects. Oh my gosh, let me tell you a thing. So you know Andrew, right? My friend Andrew. Tippin? Yeah. Yeah, I used to edit Beer Bros. Yeah. The uh, first official editor of Beer Bros. It's true. He uh He's still friends with some people, uh, some people from high school that like, I don't really, I'm not, not friends with them, but like, you know, you just don't see everybody that you hung up with high, in high school your whole yeah, life. Yeah, of course. Uh, but he stayed a little bit more cause he lives around here still and whatnot. Mm, wow, and so he went to the wedding memories. of a, an old friend of mine. Uh, so much to and, uh, the wedding party Sonic. walked out to music from final fantasy nine. And, That's awesome. And the bride and groom came out to Eyes on Me from Final Fantasy VIII. Mm -hmm. Wow. You remember that song? Yeah. Like, yeah. The tornado's not powerful enough. If I'm going to get Look, he paused angry, for like I'm six seconds. I think now if I'm, if Amanda and I get married, I'm sure she's it watching this. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to, to have a Mario Odyssey themed wedding. <laughs> that's, that's Mario Kart. That's not Mario Odyssey. You guys, I've been playing so much Mario Kart. I'm so I'm so fucking good at Mario Kart right now, you guys. And it's like, it's Saturday night lot. Alright, uh we we are out of time. It is time for today's episode to come to an end. Yay! Yeah. Hold on. Wait, listen to it. Well, hold on one second. Yay, Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Red Man. Danger Revolver. Do you think that Rayman is like, if he was a real person, that he'd be like really pissed right now? Yeah, because probably. He, because the biggest game that's ever come out in the Rayman franchise. Features features rabbits only and have, Mario. Have you seen Have you seen that great image going on on Twitter? It's a picture of like hundreds and hundreds of YouTube comments, Twitch chats, Reddit posts, Neo Gaff threads, and like Facebook co comments. People being like, "Oh my fucking god! Like we got Mario RPG two in the form of rabbits. I can't believe it's gonna be so fucking bad. Like it looks so shitty." And it's got like a picture of like what? It's it, it's like everyone dogging on this idea, and then the next frame, the next gif next to it is all the awards it won at E3. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like boom, 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 boom. Like it was so funny, dude. I am so proud of everybody who worked on that game, who like took something that could have been so dumb, so shitty, and really made it work. Yeah, you know Man. we uh, we've known about rabbits for quite a long time. Yeah, a um, couple years. A couple actually. years actually, just because our friends at Ubisoft and uh, you know we signed some pretty high high confidential documents. But uh, uh, yeah, I I was uh, I played it. It's incredible. It's exactly it's really what, tight. Like, it's really fun. I'll, I'll get down on it's XCOM crazy game. silly XCOM, and I'm so happy with that. And I'm not. Oh look at that emblem. I'm gonna get that yeah. for. Him. Yeah, Ubisoft. <laughs> <So> <laughs> All right, next All time right, on Beard Bros, way too over. more of this fucking we'll, shit. We'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So he's finally here performing oh for my you. God. It's the only member of the Tales Prower crew. He gets dizzy. 
He's small and he's eight years old and he can fly. With his coconut gun. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not doing this. He's not touching the control. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Bye.